Perfect. Okay, so next up, Veronica and I are going to talk about how this impacts homeowners and strata corporations in Vancouver. And so I think the key thing is, is that if you already have bylaws that ban short-term rentals and you've passed them in the last couple of years, really you're, you're in a good place and what you can do from now is tweak them. But if you don't have short-term bylaws, really what you've, what's done is now they're almost allowed. Uh, Veronica, do you want to expand on that? Yeah, I mean, now, if you don't have any bylaws um, that, that ban short-term rentals at all, then what you have is the regime that the City of Vancouver has implemented, which, as Catherine has pointed out, is a permissive regime, um, which will allow um, owners to apply for a business license to operate a short-term rental in their principal residence as a strata lot. So if you don't, if your community doesn't want that, you're going to need to pass a bylaw now to ban that up that type of operation. If you already had a bylaw that banned it, well then you continue along your merry way and the only thing you may want to do, as Sean pointed out, is to tweak the bylaw if your community uh, wants to expand or allow certain things um, and uh, increase the enforcement uh, side of things. So changing your fining, fines to $1,000, up to $1,000 per day. Uh, the other thing too is picking up on what uh, Catherine has talked about is knowing the city of Vancouver bylaws is quite useful because as Catherine pointed out, um, it's essentially the obtaining of a license is on the honor system. So people certify that they are telling the truth about uh, meeting the requirements for business license. And one of those requirements is that the Strata Corporation does not essentially ban or authorizes uh, uh, the short-term rentals in the Strata Corporation. And already just in my practice, I've already come across a few situations where Strata Corporations say, look, they've got a, they've got a business license, but we ban short-term rentals. And the easy way to deal with this is, as Catherine pointed out, is to report it to the city. And having looked into how to report it to the city, it is really, really easy. Um, as long as you know the advertisement and uh, you can provide the bylaws that ban the short-term rental, there's pretty much not much other information other than the unit address that needs to be provided. And then they can follow up and the Strata Corporation with its own tools can also do bylaw enforcement. So you've got sort of this this is like the easiest, the easy way to catch, <laughs> to catch the scenario, at least right now in the beginning when people may be obtaining their licenses um, on the basis that there is no prohibition for short-term rentals in their strata corporations when in fact there are. 